Hello and welcome to the S3 hosting for beginners video course. You've made a smart choice on deciding to get access to this course so that you can begin to set up your Amazon S3 account and begin to upload big video files, audio files, or even images or any file that you want to upload to your account and save a lot of money. So my goal and the purpose of this video course is to get you to that point. So I'm going to keep this simple, straightforward and to the point. So first things first, what I want to do now is give you a quick overview of the video course. So you know exactly what to expect. And that way you'll see the step-by-step -step process and you'll be able to implement it at a faster rate. So obviously this is video number one, which is the introduction and quick overview. Video number two, I'm going to talk about calculating your costs. It's good to have an idea of your numbers and potential budgeting so that you can kind of put money aside for your monthly and yearly budget. Now I will say with Amazon S3, you're going to save a lot of money. In fact, when we took the move from a dedicated $300 per month server to Amazon S3, we now pay about $30 a month and we're utilizing a good amount of bandwidth, which you'll see more in video number two, which is going to be an eye opening experience. So video number three, we're going to talk about what you need. So there are a few things you need before you can get started. Video number four, we'll talk about the recommended softwares and why video number five will connect to S3 utilizing those softwares. We'll create buckets and folders in video number six. Video number seven is going to be about protecting your Amazon bucket by preventing unauthorized access. So a lot of people are unaware of this, but they create an Amazon bucket. They set everything up on their download page and people begin to download the files. That's great and all, but a lot of people forget to protect the bucket. So what ends up happening is people share those links or they put it on their own site and then guess what? They're utilizing bandwidth that you have to pay for. So this is a very important step and I'm going to show you how to do it right. Video number eight, we're going to talk about transferring files from the PC or your Mac to your Amazon S3 account. And of course, last but not least video number nine, we're going to talk about getting the URL to each file. So this is crucial, especially when you begin to build out your download pages, you need to have the direct link, right? So what I want to do right now is just to create a flow chart so that you can visually see what is happening as far as integrating your existing web hosting account with Amazon S3. So I want to make sure that you understand that you're not replacing your web hosting account. But rather what you can do is you can size it down while using Amazon S3. So right now you have a web hosting account, right? And some of you could be paying $10, $20 a month. You could have your virtual private server and you could be paying $130 a month, or you could have your dedicated server and eventually hit that two to $300 per month. Now by using Amazon, S3, what it does is it alleviates the burden of having to host tons of heavy duty files like video files, audio files, and images. So what ends up happening is yes, your web hosting account works now and you could be paying a low fee, but over time, what's going to happen is as your company grows or as your website grows, you'll get more and more visitors, right? So the more visitors you get, the heavier it of the burden it has on that particular web hosting account or server. And then what will happen is the web hosting company just asks you to, they'll say something like, well, you're, you're maxing out your account. So you're going to need to upgrade to the next level, the next level. And ultimately you're going to find yourself paying for a dedicated server. Now what Amazon S3 allows you to do, is is allows you to grow on a long-term basis without having that burden. So you can essentially get a cheap virtual private server for $25 
and host your domain here. And then place all the images, videos, audio files, just or just big files that people are going to download or utilize your bandwidth. And you can place them on the Amazon S3 account. So what that does is it alleviates you from having to actually step up to the next level, to the next level, and so forth. So actually what happened was we had a dedicated server and we actually moved down to a cheap $50 per month virtual private server. So now what we do is we use that as a virtual private server, meaning that what other people do does not impact our actual account. So now we have a cheap web hosting account and we link the images, the videos, the audio, and the big files over here. Because with Amazon, what's nice about this is you could have thousands of people per day accessing the Amazon S3 servers and it's not going to phase them. It's not going to crash your account or anything. The people that are visiting here, they are going to just go to your basic yourdomain.com. They might be visiting your WordPress site, but all the images are in videos and everything are over here. Now you could put the images here and just stick the big videos, audios, or big files over here. That's something that we did during product launches. For example, is we found that a spike of traffic can crash your whole server, but by placing before Amazon S3 was available, we would place the images, videos, and audios and big files on a different server. And that's how we would combat this whole situation. So I just want to make that clear that you understand that this doesn't necessarily replace this. You still have the web hosting account. You still have WordPress on this account. You can still have images, but the whole goal is to alleviate that burden. All right. So now that you understand how it works, uh, let's move on to the next videos and I'm going to show you how to actually get this done. So with that said, let's just jump straight in and go into video number two and we'll talk about calculating your costs. So you know exactly what to put aside as far as your budget.